Oh wow, there's so many things I want to read. Hopefully, I can get through all of them. The gossips of Columbus might be an old-fashioned bunch, pointing fingers at the guys when they had a killer on the loose. But between Tiffany and Megan, I was kind of liking the ladies for this one. Cool, cool, cool. That took a turn. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Natasha and welcome back to another reading vlog. I am far behind on my reading and I'm really in the mood for like a full-on reading weekend. So because I am working this weekend, I thought what better way to do it that th this sounds counterproductive. Okay, on weekends it is not as busy as it is during the day, the weekdays, if that makes sense. So I'm doing, I want to call it a 24 hour readathon, but it is not. I'm just like using all the hours in my weekend instead of watching TV or anything I'll be reading. Does that make sense? Let me just quickly get some of the books that I want to read and then I will explain everything to you. It is currently 25 past 10. I want to start at 12. Okay. Oh wow, there's so many things I want to read. Hopefully, I can get through all of them. So, let's talk about the first book that I want to read, which is Waking the Witch that was rude, by Kelly Armstrong. I was going to do like a whole Kelly Armstrong vlog for this, where I finished the last three books, but you know, I just can't wait because I still haven't uploaded the last three books that I read for the vlog that I want for her stories. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, this thing keeps tapping and it's annoying me. So yeah, um, so I'm just going to go with it. You will eventually see my thoughts and feelings on the others. I read Beginnings from Kelly Armstrong that I read last year in May. Um, and I did half touch on it. So if I'll, I'll link it up here or down below if you want to go see what my summer thoughts are. And then I think I read Living with the Dead, but it wasn't very concrete thoughts in there because I, w I felt rushed while reading that book. It wasn't like my all-time favorite. I gave it four stars because it's in third person and it's following a whole array of characters and not the character I was hoping for. And then Frostbitten, I finished last month, gave it five stars because it's Elena Michaels and Clayton Danvers. So, And I really enjoyed their stories. Anything to do with Elena Michaels and Clayton Danvers, five stars. Anyway, so this is the third last book in the series. This is about Savannah Levine, whose mother was a black witch and whose father was a very powerful sorcerer. Now, if you don't know the law in this world is that witches and sorcerers don't get well together, but these two did and they made a child. So Savannah is a very powerful witch slash sorcerer because she's a hybrid of the two and she is investigating a series of murders that happened in the small town called Columbus. I don't know why I'm sitting like this. This is very uncomfortable. <laughs> it kind of points to ritual to those types of sacrifices that were made. That was what I was looking for was a sacrifice. She is a private investigator so she's investigating these cases and she's trying to figure out who done it basically and I just like the the bottom here that says a triple homicide or a 21st century witch hunt and that just sounds cool that is the first book and in keeping with urban fantasy i don't even know what i think it's urban fantasy um i'm also trying to read bride by annie hazelwood and all i know is this woman who's a vampire is married off to this werewolf guy i don't know what his name is to preserve like there's a war between these two not characters, creatures. <laughs> I don't know. Is a vampire a vampire is a creature, but what is a werewolf? Anyway, um, so in order for them to preserve peace, if you want to call it that, a vampire is always married off to a werewolf. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. So I don't know. But yeah, this is the second book. It is a very hyped book, and I'm excited for this because my bestie finished this in two days. No, one day. She finished it in one day. And then I don't know if I'm gonna get through four books, but my aim is four books. <laughs> Thank you, and then I want to read The Laughing Corpse by Laurel K. Hamilton. Also an urban fantasy. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find it on my Kindle. Could you not be so loud? Let's go to library. Where is The Laughing Corpse? To round it all up, 
if I finish those three books, I want to get to Karina Hall's City of Darkness because I've been waiting for that book since last year January. And Karina Hall has funny gotten to it. After speaking for about 10 minutes, I am going to love and leave you until it's 12 o'clock and um, probably get something to drink. <laughs> and then we can start this reading vlog. Walking away, your words are lost on me. It's taking everything not to turn around. So hello. Um, why did I sort that video so awkwardly? Like, hello, how are you? Um, so, so far I've read 73 minutes. Uh, I decided to download the Forest app just to keep my concentration because if I'm sitting in front of my computer, I will most definitely rather gravitate towards YouTube shorts, YouTube videos, reading vlogs, or TikToks. So, I picked that up. And I've made progress in this book. I'm now on page 114. I think I'm 30% in the book. I haven't checked on Goodreads yet. I won't say there's a lot going on, but there's a lot of characters that are giving me hmm, your suspicious vibes. I was going to say I can't talk about them, but I can a bit. <laughs> it's just that it's not going to make a whole lot of sense because I know some of these characters because they've come from, you know, long time. Not that some of these past characters are giving me like suspicious vibes it's just that savannah is talking to for example her lifelong crush adam and i've been shipping them together for quite some time now so yeah anyway why couldn't i tell you that i don't know <laughs> beats me anyway so we have a few potential suspects we have this guy who thinks he owns the town. His name is Cody. Apparently, he might be someone who has very old magic, but not very powerful. It's very difficult to explain. Like, for example, his family comes from old family of sorcerers where the magic died out, so they still follow very old rituals, but they're not very powerful. So then they become shamans in, obviously, this book. The sorcerers are the most powerful, then it's a witch, then it's a shaman. It depends on what the shaman specializes in, because there was like a shaman in Stolen, but he was quite powerful, so... Well, he just knew how to influence people. I think that was his specialty. Like, he was good with words. Anyway, so she says he could either be a magician, a shaman, druid, wooden priest, necromancer, something with magic juice, but maybe learn to learn the spell from a sorcerer buddy, remember the basics, and then he conducted this thing. So he's suspicious. Then there's this woman, there's like this commune off of Columbus. Like it's a far, it's not far, but Columbus is like their town where they sell cookies. It's apparently very good cookies. I don't know, but they live off the land. And there's this one woman who's like the main woman between all 15 other women. I don't even know how many women are in this commune, but it's apparently that that, you know, they, they jump around because there's one guy and there's like 15 women. He's not married to the woman, but yeah. It's also very sort of the commune. I don't know, it sounds very weird. And then we also have Cody's wife, Tiffany. And she's a character. She keeps on threatening Savannah and she is like, you have to stay away from my family. Um, don't come near my husband. Don't come near my house. I think Savannah points it out here. I just need to find it. The gossips of Columbus might be an old-fashioned bunch pointing fingers at the guys when they had a killer on the loose. But between Tiffany and Megan, I was kind of liking the ladies for this one. And I'm also thinking it might have been a woman. Don't know who. I don't think it's Megan or Tiffany because I feel like those are red herrings. But it could have been a woman. It's only off after one half past one right now and i don't know it feels like this afternoon is going by very slowly and it most likely can be because i woke up before this morning anyway so i think i'm gonna take a break now just watch a bit of youtube and then i'll jump back into the book since it's so quick i don't think you know i have to worry about not finishing so anyway i'm gonna love and leave you and talk to you now
cool, cool, cool. So I had I didn't have a suspicion on what the what Cody's wife was, but yeah, that took a turn. <laughs> a turn I wasn't expecting. Oh, I just smudged my glasses. Okay. You know when something bad happens in a book and you just you you don't want to look anymore. Like it's that <laughs> See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Yeah, I don't know. There's weird things happening in this book and I'm not vibing with it. Like, not in a bad way. Like, a, I don't want to see bad things happening. Like, I like Savannah. She's always been my favorite. She has this thing where she's always honest, no matter what, no matter how people feel about it. It's like that saying that my mom always says, it's like cold water in your face, but you learn to appreciate the person's bluntness if you want to call it that and that's how she is she doesn't spin a tail or anything obviously for her benefit she will but other than that she's really she's to the point she will tell you what she thinks and a lot of people seem to appreciate it but a lot of people don't like it i am 37 percent in the book right now i just read for another 20 minutes was it 20 minutes hold on where's my forest let's say 19 but i call it 20 anyway so i read for 20 minutes right now and then something happened and i'm just like i don't want to continue i have this much left i don't want to continue <laughs> at this moment i don't want to continue it's now half past two we'll see how it goes for the rest of the day maybe i'll finish this and you'll see me tomorrow closing this book for the final time again still not sure who's the guilty party obviously it would be very a, a very boring book if by the 40 percent mark to read who did it but some of the things that are happening in here are just i'm not vibing <laughs> When something happens to a main character that I'm not vibing with, I struggle to pick up the book and things just escalated pretty quickly. We're only 40% in the book. Why are things going so bad? Kelly Armstrong, why? Luckily, my afternoon is almost done. Uh, let me continue working and reading and doing all that fun stuff. And then hopefully by the time I update you, I will be at the 200 page mark. I mean, I'm not far. Hold on. I'm just looking for the tweets. This one. I don't know. <laughs> Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. I'm not sure if I showed you, but I got a new bookcase. Anyway, <laughs> it's not the point I'm trying to make. I am 62% in Waking the Witch and um, yeah, just thought I'd give you guys an update. It's going really good so far, I'm really enjoying it. I, I'm upset that one of the characters was killed off. <laughs> like there was a particular reason why we still haven't gotten to the why yet and I don't know who's the who, who did it. So for now I'm just going with the vibes. I'm gonna see if it's currently 10.30, we have a meeting um, at like 11 30 ish and then we have to go to the shop so hopefully by that time or before that time i can finish the last bit of this book and then when we get back i'll give you guys an update and then i don't know what i want to start next should i do the laughing call i don't know i think that book is calling to me <laughs> so i think i'm going to finish reading this then i'm going to move on to the laughing corpse and then i'm going to read bride and if there's enough time i'll then read city of darkness sounds about doable hello everyone okay so it is now six o'clock in the evening i finished waking the witch earlier today and then just jumped to bride so you know i'm not gonna get it because it's in the lounge now <laughs> And I'm too lazy to go stand up, get it from the lounge and explain. But anyway, so I don't know what to give this book right now. My thoughts aren't coherent, if you want to call it that. I'm still thinking of the ending because that ending was really not what I expected. It baffled my brain. Reading another book because I cannot formulate any thoughts around this one. The guilty party, I wasn't expecting. I don't, like, everyone was a red hairy. Let's put it like that everyone was the hit red herring i was right though that the killer was a woman <laughs> I, th I think that's all i can explain so for now 
I'm leaning towards a four and a half stars. I don't know. I'll maybe change my rating afterwards. But for now, yeah, I'm thinking four and a half stars. This really ended on such a cliffhanger that I was tempted to get the other book and just throw off my TBR for this weekend. But I also really wanted to read Bride. So I can probably put this down now. So that is what I'm reading right now. And um, yeah, I'll give you an update once I'm a bit further into the book. All I can say right now about Bride. So I like how when the vampires jump to the tongue, I don't know, in, in the beginning of the chapter it was mentioned they speak in the tongue and I'm like, oh, this is reading very, I won't say YA, but Wattpad fiction-y. Like, why do you call it that? And it's weird that it's not werewolves, but it's weirds. Yeah, that's all my thoughts right now. It's just, it's entertaining, but it's weird. Not in a bad way, it's a good way, but it's also like, no idea. I am currently, I think, on page 36, so not very far, but I am enjoying it. So I think for the rest of the day, I'm gonna sit and read. For the rest of the day, it's already six, so I don't know. Maybe finish some of it tonight, if I can get to the halfway point tonight, because this book is almost 400 pages. <laughs> like, four pages short of 400 pages but if i can read around 200 pages tonight today that's a lot actually huh i don't know and then 200 pages tomorrow and then i will probably juggle between either the laughing corpse or city of dog i'm not sure though yeah that is just the updates i have now i'm going to put this away greet kelly well greet savannah for like a few days and then i think i'm gonna jump back into that story i'm gonna see if i can wangle my tbo for next month so that i can read what's it spellbound because i really need to know what's happening and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> most likely I'll never tell, never tell Just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell Never revealing no secrets You're keeping these promises strong as a spell I'll never tell Yeah, I like you, that's for sure Never have to close the door Been a long time, a year before And I'm missing you so bad Gone away, a month or more Every show I go before good morning everyone happy sunday yes it's sunday okay so i owe you all an update on bride because i'm currently on chapter 18 page 226 i did manage to get to um chapter 15 last night but i didn't read chapter 15 i was like this is as far as my brain can take it this is as far as i can get you know that's that's that I am not able to function anymore as a human being but I am enjoying this book and I think so far it's giving me a four and a half to five star vibes I'm not sure I am curious about the side quest that our main character misery is on I did eventually figure out why they called her misery even though it's weird <laughs> You know, it's not like the top reason for being called that. But anyway, um, this whole book is weird. So I like how when Lo talks about his mates, she's just oblivious to everything. And I mean, I think if we were in that same position, we would be. But because we get snippets of his thoughts in the beginning of each chapter, which is also awesome. We know he likes her, but she doesn't know that he likes her or that she is his mate. That's what I'm assuming. I would like to see what happened to Serena. Are we ever gonna get closure for that who knows but i'm aiming to finish this today hopefully i can get to that um it's just over 200 pages and i think that can be easily done so i don't think that's too bad this is what this book gives me is just all around comfort all the time i would most definitely reread this at a later stage when i want something trashy but good i don't know how to explain it if i say trashy but good everyone's gonna be like oh but the book isn't trashy i'm not saying it's trashy <laughs> It's like trash TV. You enjoy the hell out of it. But some of the things are just like, <laughs> why? I don't know. I don't know how to how to explain it, but I, I really am enjoying it. So we're going to see how this book ends. And then I don't think I will have time to either touch The Laughing Corpse or City of Darkness. I think so far, because it's been hyped a lot, it is definitely worth the hype. We're having a good time all around. Okay, so... 
I'm coming out to close this vlog and talk a bit about Bridge as well as Waking the Witch. Let's start with Waking the Witch as it, this is the first book that I finished this weekend. I really like this book. The only thing I think is upsetting to me is the fact that it ended on such a cliffhanger that I actually want to drop everything and read Spellbound. So... I don't know if I should actually do that. But it's also on my TBR for next month for Ramathon. So not Ramathon. The Aurelium Readathon. This book was so interesting to read. I love the characters that were mentioned in this. Obviously there are cameos of some other characters that if you start from the beginning of the series you will know them. But it was just so good. I love Savannah's character as I've mentioned before. The, the way she's so straightforward. Like she's like... I'll give you the truth whether you like it or not and that's your problem if you don't like it too bad for you and i also like the i wouldn't say the sacrifices she makes it's more of a she decides what she wants to do and there's no way in changing her it does come forward that she is 21 so some of the choices she makes is really immature but it's also hilarious and I don't see why a lot of people dislike her. I love Savannah. She's hilarious. She's been hilarious for 12 years. So I'm just vibing with her. I'm giving it 4.5 stars. It's not my favorite. That's all I can say. It's If it's a favorite and if, if, I, if I think about it for a long time and it doesn't want to leave my brain, then usually I rate that as a five star. This has been more of a, I need to know what happens next. But the writing style is true Kelly Armstrong. It's fast paced. It is so intriguing. And like I say, the, the guilty culprit in this all, I wasn't expecting the person to be who it was. And it just, it floored me because I didn't think that person was even an issue until they came back. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is a bit of a concern. So yeah. 4.5 stars, really enjoyed it, just all around a good time as usual with Kenny Armstrong. Then last night I finished Bride by Annie Hazelwood. Who, who's surprised? I'm gonna give it five stars because this was just so entertaining. I think I mentioned this yesterday when I said it's like trash TV but in a good way, like you, you're along for the ride and you're just enjoying this ride and it was so entertaining to read. I can't stop thinking about it, I just I lapped this up so badly. I did have a break in between yesterday when I got some bad news about our dog. Don't worry, she's okay for now. It was just, it hit me and I was like, I'm not going to read this book if something bad happens because if something bad happens to my dog, I'm going to dislike this book. And I don't want to dislike this book due to circumstances happening while I was reading this book so I put it down until my mom gave me an update and she said don't worry she's okay she just has a little bit of an infection and that was that and I was like okay cool so she got medication and she's okay then I started reading this just after three because I watched Grey's Anatomy for about three hours no shame and then I just I binged this and I couldn't put it down the main plot of this of why misery is actually in the weird territory and why she chose to marry this weird is I didn't expect that and the ending of that was just it was wow <laughs> um, my friend said she kind of figured out about the friend you know the circumstances surrounding her and what she was and I was like you know I completely missed that. I was all in this for the vibes and I just enjoyed it. I did know that one of the, the weirs, he was a bit sus to me. So I was just like, <laughs> I don't know, something's off. So I didn't trust them and turns out I was right. So, you know, go with your gut feeling. But overall, it was a very, very productive weekend. I enjoyed it. I clearly had a theme going on with the red and black and everything in between. Um, I think I read over 700 pages this weekend, which is usually not something I do. I would read a chapter or two over the weekend and that's about that. But it was a fun time. I couldn't put either of these books down. Obviously, I couldn't get to City of Darkness or The Laughing Corpse, but that's fine. I enjoyed myself immensely so I think it's a win you know if you read books it's a win so I'm going to love and leave you all I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry for the light that's just like I don't know what's happening with the weather anyway we've discussed this um I'll see you guys in a video next week bye